Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'm back with another video for you. Today's video I'm going to do a the tutorial on how to create the uh, tissue box that I made in an earlier video. And I had some people that were asking about that, so I wanted to show you how I did that. It's not too hard. This is for a boutique style tissue box. Um, really kind of simple. So what you'll need are about three sheets of eight and a half by 11 paper cardstock. Um, if you're using 12 by 12 paper, then you'll need maybe um, one and a half sheets of the cardstock as opposed to the to the uh, three sheets of uh, eight and a half by 11. And so these are the pieces I'm doing this in. I think this is elegant eggplant. So what you'll need are two pieces that measure. <clears throat> They measure nine and a half by five and a half. And you're going to score it on one side at one half of an inch. You'll turn it sideways. Oh, excuse me. You'll have one half of an inch and at five inches. So one half, five inches. Then you'll turn it on the sh short side and you score that at one half inch, only on one side. And you'll do that for both of those. <clears throat> excuse me. So nine and a half by five and a half scored at one and a, excuse me, scored at a half an inch, five inches, turn sideways, score at a half an inch again for both of those. Then you'll need a piece that measures five and a half by five and a half, and you're going to score it at a half an inch on all four sides. And keep turning, score at a half an inch and a half an inch. If you're going to have a decorative top, then you'll need to have a piece that measures four and a half by four and a half. And I'll show you how to do that. And if you're going to have any sides to that, if you want to have layers on the sides with like design series papers or any kind of layering, then you'll have a sheet that will measure four and a half by four and three fourths. And you'll need four of those, four panels of those. Four and a half by four and three fourths. I'll have all the, the measurements in, uh, in the link below. And also, also at the end of the video, I think I'll put a, a screen up that I have all the, the uh, sizes for you. So the first thing we want to do, <coughs> excuse me, on the five and a half inch piece, there's an intersecting right there at the little corner. It intersects on each four where, where you scored. So you're going to cut all those those four corners off. And actually what you want to do is to miter the corners on each side. So you just want to miter it just a little bit, just a little piece on each side. So you can do that before you cut, when you cut it out, just a small piece. And don't cut into the line because you, you need that. And cut that. There you go. Let me throw that away. And I'll set that aside. For this piece, you'll want to cut uh, where you squirt it at the five inches. You'll want to cut into that and you want to cut miter each of the corners. Take that out. And you want to do this side as well. Miter that corner. This square you want to take out. And miter the corner. I went it the wrong way. And this one as well. Just a small piece. So you do that for both of those. Cut in, miter, miter, a small snip off of this side, a small snip off of that side. You're going to cut this one off, and you're going to cut do that. There you go. The next thing you want to do is that on this side, <coughs> where you have the half inch piece facing up, you want to put some strong adhesive. You can use the fast fuse, 
I use the tear and tape because it's a very uh, strong adhesive. You can use a wet glue, but it does take time for it to dry, so therefore that's why I don't really use the wet glue. But you want to put it, oh, the tape on the outside. On both, both ends. There you go. And as you'll see, I've put tape on the other side at the very bottom and that's going to be on the inside so now we can fold them up and score them oh sorry about this so these are going to fold up this is the outside of the box these are going to fold up and that's going to fold in like that and you'll do it for both sides. And you fold it over. Now, I'll set these aside for a second. When you do your top, if you're going to have a decorative piece, look, yeah, if you're going to have a decorative piece, now is the time to do it because what you want to do is to cut this out first. And so it's going to be centered on the inside of the, of the score lines. And what I've used are my layering ovals and I've used the second largest on this side and the third largest on that side. I don't have the dimensions for those. So what you want to do you'll have both of these. And so for the lar you want the largest one to go on the outside, on the decorative portion. And so you're just going to center it inside of the white one. This is gonna be my top layer, if you're gonna have a decorative top. Now the other uh, one that I did, I did not have a decorative top to it. So that's totally up to you. I'm gonna score, uh, hold it down with a piece of washi tape and I'm going to cut it, cut that through my big shot. And I'll be right back. So now that I have this cut out, I'm going to layer it on top of my piece here. And then I'm going to take the next largest layering oval and place it on the inside where I want it, move that out of the way, and then I'm going to adhere this piece. I'm going to cut this one out and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you have it and you'll see where if, when you line it up, you'll see the little piece of the inside. You have like a little border on the inside that I think is really nice and kind of finishes it off. So we're going to lay that aside and we're going to put some tape on, on the inside of, oh, the outside of here. So let me get the tearing tape. And we're going to put tape all four sides. Okay, so now we're going to put it all together. We're going to fold over and crease each corner, each side. And we have these two pieces and we're going to adhere these two pieces together. Take one end off. We'll line it up. And 
and fold it down. And actually, you can take three of these off right now. And the reason I don't, uh -uh. when you fold it over, you can see it kind of crosses, it folds over this portion right here and kind of secures it down even more. So I'm going to do these other two. And this basically is going to give it a little bit of weight at the very end, uh, give it a little bit more strength at the very bottom. That's all it does. It doesn't do any, really do anything else. So now we have the, the whole side together. When you put it together like this, this is your bottom box. But we're not going to put it together just yet because we're going to adhere the top style. And basically what I do is I center it on the fold and fold it down. And then I do the next side. Basically from the next side. You can fold it over to the top and secure it. And same thing for each of the other sides. Uh oh, don't want to tear that. That's my tape. Fold it over at the very top. Edges line up. And the very last one. Edges line over. Folds at the top. And for this one, you just take this one off. Fold it in, line it up, oh, and the very last one, I forgot to do the last one. And just fold that one in. And there you have your box. Reinforce all the sides at the top. You can go inside with your bone folder and reinforce that. Make sure it's all stuck down. And there's your tissue box. And if you want to put the decorative top, uh oh, what did I do with it? Then you could put that on top as well. But I'm not going to put a top on this because I haven't decided what I'm going to, how I'm going to decorate it. So the top will go there. And then, like I said, the size will be four and a fourth by four and three fourths for your layers. And there you go, your tissue box holder. And that way there's nothing on the outside, it looks clean and neat. And there you go. I hope you like it. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and um, I'll be happy to help you in any way that I can. This is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com. Please, if you haven't done so already, like, share, and subscribe to my channel to be notified of, of new videos that I have coming out. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a great day, and I'll see you real soon.